Because <laughs> in Louisiana, we call them pheromones. <laughs> but since I got up here, people pick on me all the time. I have to say pheromones. And I say it just like Google, pheromones. How often do you say pheromones? <laughs> He was in this industry a lot. He was recording a YouTube video and uh, or like a voiceover and he just kept going pheromones and I, me and Sarah were like the only thing we'd ask you to do different is say pheromones. <laughs> pheromones. So we it is getting colder a lot colder and the lemurs have very little cognitive they have some but very little cognitive and so they can't figure some things out so we're going to set up some heat baffles for them if you didn't know lemurs love blankets and they put them on themselves like little blankets they're not real bright and so in the night or in the daytime or playing they kick them on the ground and they end up getting wet they get up getting nasty so we have to hang them as heat shields that way they can use the bottoms of them to put on like a little jacket, but they stay connected because they're physically connected with zip ties. Where are my zip ties? So we're gonna go play with lemurs. Now, especially difficult to work with lemurs because they're like all over you. You're gonna see. Y'all stay tuned, watch this. Well, so the whole idea behind putting in heat baffles is to try to create an atmosphere where there's not as much blowing wind and they have more heat retention so that they can uh, so that they can have uh, like a warmer space to stay warmer space to live in is there any cold weather in Madagascar in their native climates so they do have to so now Madagascar has quite a bit of climate shifting. And so it really depends on where the, where the lemurs are kind of stationed at, if you will. Um, some areas can get quite cold at night where other areas get cold seasonally. But overall, Madagascar is considered a subtropical space and really these guys are pretty hardy up to about 35 degrees but once it gets below 35 i get worried about them and uh i think once it gets below 35 we really really start paying attention to what's going on in their world we we pay attention to who is sleeping with who and they love getting in blankets like this, you know? And so if you set up that environment for them where they can get in and out of some blanket area, then they can stay warm on their own, with, especially with these heat lamps. They've learned to use the heat lamp source pretty readily. But anyway, this will just make it more cozy for them. It'll stay warmer and without any wind blowing on them, it won't get any wind chill effect. We've got multiple areas set up for them. They can pick and choose where they want to sleep. Um, they like this platform up here. If you look right underneath the platform, there's a nest box underneath there. And uh, amazingly, they don't utilize it very often. I figure that's just a great nest box and they would love it, but they get in it, they play in it, but you couldn't say that they utilize it because they don't. But you can see they, they already are taking a shine to this. They're like, hey, this is pretty cool. What you doing? How are you setting this up for us? Just something else for y'all to play with. That's all we do. Get out of my mouth. I do not like lemur tongue in my mouth. Some people would die for that. I don't know. I think if they if they ever watched the lemurs licking their own butts, I don't think they would they would die for it too much. 
It looks cozy. It looks like a little fort. Well, that's kind of the idea. You know, give them a little something they can get real cozy in. Who's that holding the GoPro right now? That is Selma. Oh. <laughs> She's like, I want to play with the GoPro. I can't tell if it's recording. We'll see. Got one groom in your hand, the other one on you. Yep, they're all trying to get out of my mouth. The lemurs love it though, when you're interacting with them. That's why lemurs don't make very good uh, solo pets because they need a certain amount of social interaction. They, they love getting involved with helping us because you know, in their mind, they're helping us. Get out of my mouth. Whatever, whatever they're, we're doing, they want to be sure that they're around to help us out. Because you know, we humans, we can't, can't possibly manage on our own. That's why when you go in to do any kind of serious work with the lemurs, you always need to take help and back up. Not that you're gonna get hurt just because you can't get anything accomplished usually because they're helping you so much. Well, Queenie over here thinks this is a spa. <laughs> She's already got some spa vibes going on. Yeah, Queenie's in here doing meditation. <laughs> Up against the heat lamp? Yeah. She's like, oh yeah, this feels so good. I'm like totally digging this. Get out of my face. <laughs> and the bad thing about Loki is she likes to, she doesn't just like to stick her tongue in your mouth. She likes to grab your lips, pull them out and stick your her tongue in your mouth. You really are not helping me at all. Like, there's nothing about what you're doing right now that's helping. I help. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm showing up, boss. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> I'm here to help. She's like, here, let me help you with that. No, you're not doing it right. Here. Here, let me help you out. Let me help you out. Show you how to do that. All right, let's get these last two up here. Queen's just like, yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate all this. <laughs> We're gonna call that success. But anyway, you see, it's just a, it's just a windbreak and a heat sink, heat baffle, and uh, this way they can keep a little warmth in there. And they'll use the ends of the towels as blankets around themselves and um, wrap themselves up in it. It's actually kind of cute. They look like little people when they do that. We're all set with that. Lemurs are nice and warm and toasty. We built them a lemur treehouse or a, a fort. And then each of the jump boxes were, what, that we converted into lemur boxes, we put up heat baffles so the heat doesn't escape from out of there. And that way they can have a nice, toasty, warm spot to sleep at night. Don't eat it. 